Hi, this is the Yenneagram video that pairs Enneagram type five with the yoga pose Eagle. What I love about this, you know, the five is called the observer and we have that term, the eagle eyed observer, um, someone who takes in the scene with a keen observing eye, but from afar. And the cool thing about this is in Sanskrit, the name for this pose is a mythical bird that used to carry the god Vishnu. And the unique aspect of this bird was that it never had to land because the wind carried it along. You think about that as the five, uh, never having to step into the scene if they don't want to, observing from afar, making an entrance when they feel ready, but on their terms. So let's go ahead and feel the pose in our bodies. Inhale, arms out to a T. Exhale, right elbow underneath the left. You can either grab shoulders here or take a palm to palm eagle grip, kind of tying yourself in a knot. Lift the shoulders a little bit. Lift, I'm sorry, lift the elbows, keep the shoulders down. And then soften into your knees. Cross the right thigh over the left. If that's a little too intense, you could take ankle over knee. If you want to wrap the toes around, you can. Doesn't make your eagle pose any better or any worse. But I want, what I want you to feel and notice is the sense of being wrapped up in yourself. It's an, even hard to see beyond your hands, hard to see into the future because you're blocking that view of what's going on all up right here. One more inhale and exhale, release. Take a big breath. Feel everything flow and then take the left elbow underneath the right just to even this out again shoulder grip do what's best on this side might look different soften into the knees and left thigh over right again sensing being wrapped up keeping things in the heart is not exposed it is actively protected one more full breath and exhale release inhale take that star pose again and exhale to let go so there you have it number five the observer keen eagle eye awareness viewing the scene from afar keeping to oneself also perhaps wrapped up in oneself in a singular thought a project a plan Maybe this person has many plans, but they're generally focused on one at a time. There you have it. Join me for number six next.